Good morning. How are y'all guys doing this morning? Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all for being here on Tommy's Carolina Homestead. I know you're trying to figure out why does she have this stuff in these bottles? What is she about to do? Well, if you read from the title, you will know I started my seaweed water. So what I did was because I was doing some research and how to feed your soil and, you know, get it to grow better, uh, fruits and vegetables. So I put them in these containers. First, we're going to take First, we're going to take our seaweed right here. We already cut it in half. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to place it in the water. I'm going to add more water to it. I'll do the second one. Yeah, I'm about to make me a little frozen pizza, y'all. And so I'm going to add water to it. I'm going to shake it up. I took one of my son's seaweed um, out of his pack that he feeds his fish. He has saltwater fish. <sighs> Still got to put the shelf on the bottom, but this is his fish tank. Him and my husband. But my son really has been doing <laughs> the bulk of the work, I must say. So I used his seaweed. <laughs> right here well, you probably... okay so this is the seaweed that he uses for his fish so what I did was I took one out of the pack broke it in half and I put both halves each of the halves in the two bottles and I, this is just I washed this out no soap just you know washed it out and I put the seaweed in there and I added a few teaspoons of baking soda. Okay, so this is day two of the breakdown of the seaweed. You see that? There we go. I'm going to shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake them. What did I get? I got a seaweed drink. You actually can eat these yourself. I'm gonna let that curate for about three more days, depending on what it looked like. This is the second one. You see it'll all go up to the top, but this was not as broken down as the first one. So this one seems to be taking a little bit longer to break down. But I will be pouring this on my stuff, my garden, my goodies, my goodies, my goodies. Yes, my goodies. Yeah, I'm going to be pouring it on there, y'all. So I just wanted to show y'all something that I was working on. I hope that you guys are all working on your garden as well. And if you haven't started a garden and you're thinking about starting a garden, plant a seed. Plant one seed and grow and feed your family and i don't know oh i hear thunder y'all it's thundering here in columbia south carolina sam kicky lucky so i put all of my flowers out i'll show you that gotta get my egg shells so i moved everything from off of my porch out to where they can get some fresh rain water god's water Okay, y'all, let me throw in a little quickie of why I'm using the seaweed water. One, I can't find seaweed. I'm not going to the beach. I'm not trying to get seaweed. And if you do go to the beach or ocean, whatever, get your seaweed. Don't get live seaweed. The purpose of using seaweed is to break down and to help your soil. 
so you don't want to use live seaweed and if you use seaweed from the ocean you need to rinse the seaweed a lot of people will say there's no salt in seaweed but the fact that the seaweed is there and there may be salt on the seaweed but it's not in the seaweed see what I'm saying so you would need to rinse and wash your seaweed a lot because you don't want to just take seaweed from the ocean put it on your garden with all that salt and boom you done messed your garden up because you don't use you don't put salt too much salt in your soil so I wouldn't use ocean I was looking for some when I went fishing and that's fresh water so I would use fresh water seaweed if I could find it but I couldn't find any so that's why I used uh, my son's seaweed that he feeds his fish with and I checked the thing it had no salt in it so I put it in here and I made my own but I will just be putting mine on my soil this won't be you know the whole seaweed onto the soil as a mulch this is me just feeding the soil as if I'm watering regular water um, Let's see what else we got. It has lots of minerals, nitrogen, potassium, phosphate, uh, magnesium, and over 60 traces of minerals. Yeah, y'all, I take notes, okay? I need to know these things. Um, it is a great mulch because it holds uh, moisture, a lot of moisture retention. And the slightest bit of misty rain or whatever it's going to hold that in it's going to swell up and it's going to hold that moisture that means less time for you going out and watering your garden if you use it in that particular area um also it breaks down slower so you don't have to keep shoveling more mulch to cover your garden and protecting your soil some of the cons is it holds a lot of heat mainly because it's a dark material anything dark will hold a lot of heat i know my husband's like his um big rig truck that he drives is black my vehicle is black and when it's hot let me tell you it is hot you know it's hot it's going to hold all of that heat in so you don't want to you know hold too much heat in so they say if you're going to use it as a mulch to maybe break that up on top of your soil maybe put some hay and then on top of the hay put some seaweed and you're good um yeah that's about it so i just wanted to let y'all know a couple of reasons why i decided to do a little bit of this because of all the minerals and all of the good and good 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 that's in this um jug that i can put on my um my plant yeah that's all i have <laughs> so, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. See y'all on the other side tomorrow. Out. These are my sweet potatoes that I pulled my roots and my slips from. And now I'm regrowing the same potatoes. Look at it. Putting out pecan cuttings in these bags. And I have them in bags because the bag creates humidity, which helps for the uh, roots to regrow. These are my seedlings that I just did on Sunday. So I moved everything out here as you can see. Everything is out here. My pecan tree, uh, my onions, my four cloths, my canna lilies, what else? My lettuce, strawberries, cabbage, um, my fragrant tea tree plant is, look at that, it is starting to bloom y'all, look at that. And let me tell you, those blooms smell so good. Okay, with a T. Good with a T. And then I replanted that one, which had died. I pulled it out of the old container with the soil that I had. And I gave it some more richer soil. And then I also put my um, things down there. Oh, forgot about my spinach down there. Look at it, y'all. It's filling up. Y'all remember it was... No, it's almost ready to be plucked and eaten. Okay, first harvest is going to be that spinach. And then over here is my transplants of my sweet potato slips and my roots. 
and my green bell peppers are over here on this side and this sweet potato right here is getting i don't know if y'all ever seen that look i've never seen that before of course i've never grown before <laughs> this is my onions that's nothing i'm working on that soil getting it right and then i have in here my corn and my watermelon my watermelon is look at that right there and these right here y'all i got these when i went fishing let me show you i collected all of those seashells and clam shells snail shells all of that good good to put on top of my garden my containers so it's about the rain the rain is hitting my uh car i'm about to put these eggshells out and help my soil out as much as i can y'all so y'all take care be blessed stay safe remember i love you but god truly truly loves you more he created only one you and only he know what he created you for it's up to you to figure it out though and when you do go out and spread god's love with distance wear your mask wear your gloves wear your gloves peace love and light Thank y'all so much for joining Tommy's Carolina Homestead. I appreciate y'all being with me on this journey. It means a lot because I am new to this. I'm still learning. I am on the computer constantly. I don't get to a lot of other channels like I want to because I'm just really in the mindset of I need to grow and I need to feed my family and I need to, you know, be self-sufficient when it comes to my food in case anything happens where the grocery stores have to close up or anything like that it's people gonna be knocking on your door they're gonna be trying to break your dough down okay let these stores close up out here so yeah but um you don't want to break up in here you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i have friends okay with an s um y'all stay safe i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all on the other side of tomorrow Smooches.